Thank you for attending guys. Meeting a journey tayo next week naman. Bye! Hi! Pang ilang meeting ko na ba to? Buong araw na ako nakatingin sa laptop. Anong oras na ba? Ay! Ay, you know, it's time again for another health hour. Oh my gosh! Nakalimutan ko, guys! I'm so sorry and welcome again to another episode of the TMCSL Health Hour. I'm your host again, Dr. Claudine. And so sorry guys, sobrang busy lang these past few days for whole day meetings, presentations. Nagda-dry na yung eyes ko. Sobrang katina na. Hindi ko alam if parang may buhangin ba or what. Pero um, I think it's time that I share or we share to you what dry eyes mean. Kasi very relevant siya. For most of us, na nagu work from home and lagi na katingin sa laptop, so we have here a special guest for you. Uh, it's she's one of our uh, known ophthalmologists here in the Medical City South Luzon, Dr. Maria Margarita Evidente. So let's hear from her, guys. Take it away, Doctora. It's a common complaint actually we see in the clinic. No? Uh, dry eyes is uh, commonly seen in people na medyo old age na, uh, senior citizens. But now with the uh, onset of the pandemic and with people working from home and the students having to use the computers in online distance learning, mas naging prevalent siya nowadays. So, um, one of the main causes of the dry eye is um, age. No? When I say age kasi, uh, these are the people who, who now have to take uh, mga um, maintenance medications for, for their certain conditions like hypertension, medications for diabetes, sometimes yung oral uh, hormone replacement therapy for menopause, and antihistamines or anti-allergy medications. These medications can cause dry eyes. Now, uh, with people having to work from home all the time, um, Siyempre, they have to use the gadgets and computers na medyo malapit sa kanila. Ang tendency nun will be uh, for them not to blink very often. So, infrequent blinking, which is an involuntary action, hindi nila napupuna na hindi na pala sila pumipikit or kumukurap. And blinking is something that we need to do or that has to happen for the tears to be evenly distributed sa mata. So, since hindi nga masyado nakakablink because of the use of the computers or gadgets. Therefore, nagkakaroon din ng dryness of the eyes. Uh, most of the time, the patients will come in. Ang kinokomplain nila is mahapdi or may burning sensation, nagluluha or nagtitiring. Sometimes may foreign body or parang sandy sensation sa mata and sometimes may pangangati na. So, yung pangangate is one of the severe symptoms na. So, prolonged dry eyes na yon. And sometimes, even uh, some of the patients can even go as far as medyo malabo na po yung mata. I always tell this to my patients. Eh. Siyempre, we cannot uh, avoid the use of yung mga computers, gadgets nowadays since most of us work from home or kaya we study at home. So I usually tell my patients now to make sure that there is a 30 second break every 30 minutes. Now, in these, uh, this can also be applied to those who work from home. No? So 30 second break every 30 minutes is either you close your eyes or you look at the distance. No? Hindi yung from one gadget to another, from laptop to uh, iPad, something. No? No. So it's, you really have to uh, make sure that you close your eyes or you look at the distance for 30 seconds so that nagbe break then yung mata, hindi siya napapagod. And then, you do that every 30 minutes. And then, we have to eat healthy. So, yung mga um, uh, fruits and vegetables that are more colorful, they, have, uh, they provide good protection for our eyesight as well. We start with um, giving the patients uh, mga eye drops first, yung topical lubricants or topical gels. No? Um, Wearing eyeglasses will also help, no? Because hindi masyado na hanginan yung mata, and also uh, it also protects you for the harmful uh, radiation coming from the sunlight and also from the gadgets, no? And then, pag hindi pa rin, uh, if those still doesn't work, don't work, and then we we offer something 
mga simple procedures now that we have in the eye center to um, make the patients more comfortable and to prolong or to prevent this, uh, these symptoms from coming back. Sometimes talaga nagkakaroon sila ng mga sore eyes no, or conjunctivitis kasi parang mababa resistensya ng mata. Eh. So yung, yung mga gano'n na nakikita na namin sa clinic na ako. We have a procedure now at the eye center which we call micro blepharo exfoliation. No? We offer this for patients na nasubukan na ang, ang uh, usual eye drops or um, mga eye gels for dry eyes pero still they have a little bit uh, symptoms left or hindi nakatulong at all no yung mga binigay namin sa kanila so which we call blefex no this procedure is what we call blefex which we have at the department of ophthalmology here in medical city south luzon we we have a roster of different doctors naman no eye doctors uh, um, sa Dep department of ophthalmology uh, Usually Mondays to Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 12, and then 1 to 4 p.m. But my schedule is every Wednesday and Friday mornings at 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Thank you, Dr. Evidente, for that very, very insightful discussion about dry eyes and dry eye syndrome. So guys, if you feel any of those symptoms, yung mahapdi yung mata, or makate, or if there's foreign body feeling, or parang may buhangin sa mata, um, we might have to explore the treatment options for you. So, what are you waiting for? Just go to the Medical City South Luzon Eye Center or book an appointment and they have all the treatment options for you there. Okay? So, before I leave you guys, I'm just gonna remind you to please like or comment or give us your questions if you have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe also and click the notification bell so you get the latest updates and videos here at the Medical City Health Hour. Once again, I'm your host, Dr. Claudine. Bye!